realizes he has a problem. I, I, it looked like the car got pretty loose right there. As he moves down, I believe he blows a left rear tire, sends him into Eric Almirola. Daniel Suarez has to avoid him, spins to the end. If you, I think other than some tires, Daniel might be okay. Heavy damage to the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. Half back to the 43. Uh, great, great job, great instincts to be able to turn to the left. He saw in the corner of his eye, Jimmy Johnson having a problem in turning back in to the, the field and avoided him. Eric Almirola from his rear bumper. <laughs> Absolutely nothing that Eric Almirola can do any different to avoid that. In, in any kind of conditions, I just wonder if maybe there was a rub on that left rear fender. Here's Jimmy Johnson's radio. I just want any tire rubs or anything. I'm really too flat. All right. Well, let's get the backup up. All right, but thanks, man. Sorry. Now, clearly in that view, the left rear. Taking him out of contention. Oh, whoa. He's Can he spin. say that? Wow, what a save. Oh, but and behind now, Cole you're Custer. Good. You're good. Into the you're wall, caution is out. Oh, this is going to tear up some good cars, too. Daniel Henrik, the pole sitter. Spencer Boyd is there. I'll tell you, the, the 76 car, Boyd, he never quit driving, Brad. He was fighting yes. that thing through the traffic. Did a nice job of coming out the other side. I don't think there's much damage to the 76 car. Same with Joey Gase. They were tied up in the wreck but they just fought their way through it. This block late by the 16 of Ryan Reed definitely makes contact, pushes him underneath the yellow line. Now he's just trying to save it the best he can. That shows you how important the banking is, Michael, because without the banking, these cars will not keep the grip. And he slid right off the flat onto the banking. Did a great job <laughs> saving it too. Didn't look like there was much damage when he came back across the transition. No. Watch these cars. There goes Custer. Yeah, Jeff Green was the black and yellow 38 that came through there. Look at the 76 on the low side. Just fighting it, fighting it. Gets on the high side of Hemrick. Not a lot of damage. 35 of Joey Gase in the 80s. Here comes Corrigan in that blue 43 on the top side with a good push from Purdy. Got, and oh. they're wrecking. Holmes is going around and upside down. St. Smith the wreck. And look at how all this got started. Look at the 23 on the bottom side of Holmes. See that you've, we've got the 18 pushing the 32, and the 32 is trying to trying to help the 23, but he catches him in the right rear corner, and that turns him sideways. And I think he launched off the front of the 66 of Mark Thompson. Well, it was fourth when I said that. Oh, Cody Coughlin got pushed out of line, trying to find room to get back up into oh, the track. The and around in front goes. Of him. Is that John Hunter? And the 16 of Brett Moffitt. Watch it! Watch it! Watch it! Watch it. Pick your way through there. What's your problem, Cody? Talk to us. The left rear. There goes the right rear tire. Watch wrong this. place, wrong time. That's an unbelievable job by the 51 of Spencer Davis. He's just relying on all that experience he has here at Daytona and in the truck series, right, Phil? Now, how many times has he been here? Oh, this is the first this time he's it. ever yes. taken to the high banks of Daytona in his first truck start ever. And Incredible, these runs that come so fast, you cannot protect against that run. Oh, oh we got Kurt Busch around off the bumper of Blaney. Inside, Colin, Colin, I want your inside, you should be the leader. Looks like Trucks yesterday. not able to avoid this one, or Bo Bowman. Oh, Bowman's got it. Benedetto, I run. Stenhouse, a bunch of them. De Benedetto all torn up. It's right in that that area, that left rear that turns him around. Yep. And it was Alex half the field. It was on from there. Damage. Coughlin, you see there spinning, and that was Sergeant right behind him. What a big hit for Jennifer Joe Cobb. Thank goodness for the safer barriers. Uh, you're right. Well, we both hit that wall down there when it mm, wasn't protected. And Dalton Sargent, that 25 right behind him, he just wanders up off the bottom and looks like just tries to turn back to the bottom, Phil. It just got loose, just simply got loose. And watch the driving some of these racers do to get through it. How about Parker Clickerman? He got hit by the 20 of Legacy. There's that hard contact to the safer barrier for Jennifer Joe Cobb. 
is still reviewing the number 22 of Logano to see if he will be penalized. Look at oh, this! Gonna oh, Stenhouse! He what saved it! Oh, no, 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 Jones no. did not. Come on! Jones, his teammate Suarez, William Byron, Jimmy Johnson are all in it along with Ty Dillon. Yeah. Oh, Trevor Bain was able yeah. to weave his way through there. Look at the orange number 19. And the 88. So the 12 of Blaney goes to try to make a move on the 17 of Stenhouse. He blocks it. They make contact. Great save by Stenhouse, but so much momentum coming with the 20 of Eric Jones. When he gets into the back of the 17 of Stenhouse, it, his car starts going around on him. Drop kicked. Oh, oh no, there they go. Spinner into the wall. Almarola, Larson out of shape. So is Chase Elliott. And the caution is out again. <laughs> Uh, we made it so far, Michael, but we just couldn't keep this up. No, here. So, uh, it, it looks to me like from this view that Kyle Larson just didn't quite get high enough on Eric Almirola. He was trying to maybe protect the inside a little bit, and the push wasn't quite as square as he needed again with the car not at, at full speed. You can see Joey Logano into the outside wall. There's Joe Nemechek in the 15, Johnny Davis car. Wow, look, the track's blocked. This is first time here in Daytona. He went to Talladega. Oh, oh, hard hit again. 68 of Greenfield. Looks like Matt Crampton might have gotten to the outside wall, too, but hard, hard impact. The 28 of Brian Doza, the 7 of Corbin Forrester. Yeah, this track. Oh, that hurts me. They're going to stop the trucks over between turns three and four. Watch right side of your screen. The 68 comes back down because Matt was going to try to go up through the middle. He had committed to the middle of the racetrack. Look at Jordan Anderson, that three truck. Just held it as low as he could and made it by. Still trying to avoid spinning trucks, but nice job by Jordan. Justin Fon. Big push coming from Elliott and Keselowski. Contact, oh, Elliott no. slam into the wall. Are you kidding me? Annika Patrick, Casey Kane. Oh, man. Oh, man. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Oh, took the wind out of Chase Elliott. Yeah, that was. Elliott Kane, here's wild. Danica Patrick. Less second from, at least from that, oh, big, big hit. Yeah. And, oh, you see, Keselowski got down on the apron and turned him around. So it looked like the nine went to block the two because he was going to make a move. Low, 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 go high, go high, go high, go high. Chase Elliott gets turned around and around, and it's mayhem. Turn three. 